Hey, what's up everyone? Jacob Swanson here for Wild Bird Scoop. Today reviewing the Bird Buddy, the camera bird feeder. Bird Buddy launched in 2020 and after some lengthy shipping delays, people have finally started to receive those orders and start trying out their new bird feeders. I got my hands on the Bird Buddy a few months ago, so here's my verdict on whether or not you should be considering buying one for yourself. So here's the box that the Bird Buddy comes in. Pretty slick matte box, everything well packaged inside of it. You'll find the actual feeder, the camera that goes in right here, then some basic mounting equipment like a pole mount and a string. So just a basic pole mount here that attaches to the bottom right there with those screws or the string which you can string from a tree or a shepherd's hook or whatever else. I actually have mine placed on the ground right now because that's where we get the most birds, mostly doves, cardinals, some juncos, and blue jays. The first thing that you're going to have to do when you're setting up the bird feeder is to charge it all the way. So you take it out of the actual feeder, plug it in, and just wait. Once that's done, you just have to connect it with Bluetooth and then to your Wi-Fi network so that it can send the photos to your phone. You should only have to do that once, and it's all done in the Bird Buddy app. Bird Buddy calls all the photos and the videos postcards that you get, and you'll receive a notification every time you receive a postcard, even if you're not home, so you don't have to be on the same Wi-Fi network when you receive a picture or a video. Usually those videos are a minute and a half to two minutes, and a few pictures mixed in, maybe a half a dozen on average. Sometimes just one or two, sometimes it's quite a few more. There are a few little things that the Bird Buddy isn't great at. Sometimes there will be birds at the feeder, but based on how close they are to the feeder, or the lighting, if they're up in the air, or they're too far away, it might not take a picture or a video. If they're up in this space, particularly, and they're underneath where the camera actually sees, I found that I do have some trouble getting the camera to fire. At first that can be a little bit frustrating because you paid how much money and you waited so long and you get your camera set up, you're excited for that first bird to come and you see it's there, you wait by the phone and it's just not coming. So just know that this isn't a truly motion activated camera like Hunter would use on a trail camera. So on those, every time that there's any movement, whether it's a tree branch or a squirrel or a human or a four-wheeler, it's going to take a picture but that's not the case here. It only takes pictures when it perceives a bird. Sometimes you get squirrels and people identified as mystery visitors, but 90% of the time or more, it's just gonna be pictures of birds. The photo and video quality is pretty decent. The photos are five megapixels. You're not getting DSLR quality or anything like that, but I would say pretty darn good for a bird feeder. It's probably comparable to if you were able to get your phone right up here and get that close to a bird, which most of us are not able to do. The Bird Buddy also tries to identify each species when it shows up at the feeder, and we'll call it mixed results on that. It's usually pretty good in good lighting with birds like a northern cardinal or a blue jay that look pretty distinct, but once it starts to get dark or the birds are backlit or there's a shadow, it can get a little bit spotty. Sometimes it will say it couldn't identify the bird, whereas sometimes it will make a guess. Sometimes that's right, sometimes it's not. With birds like a morning dove versus the Eurasian collar dove, where the differences are very small, it is pretty unreliable in its identification. I don't know how many times the app has told me that there's a Eurasian collar dove at the feeder when it's a morning dove every single time. The same thing can be said about different sparrow species, which as we all know can be very difficult to identify without seeing those little details up close. This doesn't really bother me that much. Half of the fun of birding, especially for newcomers, is getting out with your field guide and your app or whatever else and identifying those bird species by yourself. So if you're hoping for the bird buddy to be 100% accurate in its ID, you're going to end up a little bit disappointed, but it really doesn't bother me that much. And once you've identified the birds, the app will show you sounds, range maps, some facts about the bird, and will organize them in sort of a life list which is pretty neat because you'll find out the first time that the bird's ever been at your feeder and things like that. At its base, I think this is a pretty cool product. I probably get about a half dozen pictures and videos coming through every single day. Of course, it's a little bit pricey. At the time of this video, the Bird Buddy starts at $249. Occasionally, they'll have deals where you can get it at about $200, but prices do change over time, so click our link below to get the latest price. One of the great things about bird watching is that it's pretty cheap to get into. You really only need a pair of binoculars and maybe a bird ID guide or an app, 
and there are plenty of free places you can go to look at birds, like city parks, wildlife refuges, things like that. But if it's within your budget, I definitely think the Bird Buddy is a cool thing to add to your backyard. When we made this video, Bird Buddy was still having some shipping and customer service delays. When I was having Wi-Fi problems, I reached out to customer service, and I didn't hear back for more than a week. So when you've just received this feeder after a long wait, or even if you just ordered it recently, and you're excited to get it set up and get those first bird photos, that can be really frustrating that you don't hear back right away, and you're not able to accomplish what the feeder is supposed to accomplish. But hopefully those will have been resolved by the time you watch this video, and they're just temporary growing pains at this point in the process. But to sum it up, if you don't mind a little bit of a wait and you have the money, it's not going to break the bank, I definitely think this is a cool product. Definitely brings your bird watching to another level. It's cool to see the birds up close, and I've really enjoyed it so far, seeing the little details, getting cool pictures, and everything that comes with it. I hope this review has helped you learn more about the Bird Buddy. We have a full review on our website at wildbirdscoop.com, as well as other product reviews and everything you really need to know about bird watching. Thanks for watching this video. Happy birding!